When someone receives a diagnosis of a chronic disease, it can feel like there is nothing more they can do besides taking medication to manage their health. But what if I told you that your body has a secret mechanism that can eliminate chronic diseases and strengthen your immune system? There is nothing more powerful than the human body, and we should view it as an organism with the power to heal itself. In this video, we will discover how we can transform our bodies into machines that clean out damaged cells, which cause aging and disease, and generate newer, healthier cells. First, let's understand what autophagy is and how it can transform your health. Autophagy is a natural cellular process where cells break down and recycle their own components. Essentially, autophagy is the body's way of cleaning out damaged cells to regenerate newer, healthier ones. In autophagy, cells detect that no new nutrients are coming in. They need to ensure they are in their best condition to protect themselves, so they begin to expel viruses and bacteria from the cells. They start identifying when a cell is going out of control and becoming a cancerous cell, a zombie cell that will quickly accelerate your aging. For autophagy occur, the body needs to be in a fasting state. But what exactly is a fasting state? The fasting state is when blood sugar drops low enough to force the body to make a change. After eight hours, your body already starts to make these changes. Around 12 hours, your body begins to produce ketones, which are chemicals produced by the liver and used as an energy source when glucose is not available. Your brain becomes energized and you start experiencing mental clarity. Ketones switch off the hunger hormone, so when you make this transition, there will come a point when you no longer feel hungry. After 13 hours, growth hormone increases, which slows the aging process and helps burn fat. In men, testosterone begins to rise, with a 1,300% increase in just a 15-hour period. CRP, a blood marker for inflammation, begins to decrease. In studies conducted on a group of women who had undergone traditional breast cancer treatments, it was noted that there was a 64% reduction in breast cancer recurrence, and all they did was fast for 13 hours a day. No dietary changes, just fasting. Research shows that after 15 hours, growth hormone increases. Growth hormone is the hormone that keeps you young and helps you burn fat. If you continue fasting for 17 hours, your body starts to stimulate cell repair and aging cells are eliminated. After 24 hours, your entire gut resets and you receive intestinal stem cells that repair the entire inner lining of the gut. In 36 hours, your body finds that stubborn fat, specifically around the belly, and begins to burn it for energy. Your brain becomes motivated to seek food and after 72 hours, your entire immune system resets and recycles, producing new cells. All of these incredible benefits are achieved without any medication or supplements. So, should you fast for 72 hours all the time? The answer is no. A three-day water fast twice a year is a great start to eliminate cells that are rapidly aging you, or that could become tumors, completely eliminating these cells. A 48-hour fast once per quarter can help if you have mental health issues if you're feeling depressed or anxious, and are looking for various tools to help and improve your mood. The 36-hour fast is ideal for people seeking to lose weight, so if you are struggling to lose weight, try a 36-hour fast once a month. Fasting for 24 hours or less can vary weekly. Just one 24-hour fast per week can be truly miraculous for people who eat only one meal a day. Some people regularly do a combination of fasts between 12 and 17 hours. While fasting, it is crucial to be mindful of your food choices. Here are five foods that can maximize the benefits of fasting. Food one, avocado. One of the best ways to break a fast is with fat. But why break the fast with fat? The reason is that fat eliminates the hunger hormone, so it shuts off your hunger. You eat fat first when breaking your fast, and then wait to eat anything else. If you use this small trick, you'll find that within an hour, you won't want to eat what you initially thought you might. The immediate craving to start eating again will disappear. A great way to break the fast is with avocado. You can simply cut it in half and eat it. Food two, coffee. Studies on coffee have shown that one to four hours after drinking coffee, an increase in autophagy was noticed in the liver, muscle tissue, and heart tissue. For the benefits, coffee should be organic because pesticides create more cell death and more toxins in the cells. One major problem with coffee is that it often contains a lot of mold, so you need to ensure it is organic and mold-free. Otherwise, you're trying to stimulate autophagy, but you're adding toxins, which doesn't make much sense. Food three, green tea. 
Green tea is a great alternative if you don't want too much stimulation from coffee. Studies done in 2019 showed neuroprotective effects from green tea. They also found that it stimulates autophagy in any cell exposed to it. Green tea is one of the universal stimulators of autophagy. Additionally, tangerine tea has also been studied, and it was found that tangerine oil, as an essential oil, triggered autophagy in human neuroblastomas, which are cancerous tumors in nervous tissue. Food for olive oil. Research on olive oil shows a powerful effect on beta amyloid and tau proteins, which are associated with Alzheimer's disease. Studies have also been conducted on olive oil in relation to cancer, such as in metastatic osteosarcoma. However, you must ensure that the olive oil is organic and not rancid, otherwise, it won't stimulate autophagy. It shouldn't sit on the kitchen counter or in cupboards for too long. Another thing you shouldn't do with olive oil is heat it. If you heat it to the point where it starts to smoke, you turn it into an inflammatory fat. You can use as much olive oil as possible. You can take a tablespoon a day, especially within your fasting window. Food five, turmeric. Curcumin is the magical component of turmeric, and there are various ways to add curcumin to your diet. You can sprinkle it on food, or take the turmeric root, grind it, and drink it with green juice. This is a great way to get large doses of curcumin. You can also slice it and add it to stir fries. Research on turmeric shows that it increases autophagy in pancreatic cells. A 2019 study on a tick-borne disease showed that curcumin inhibited the disease's proliferation by stimulating apoptosis, which is cell death, and autophagy in other cells. If you add turmeric with black pepper, it penetrates the cells on a deeper level. You need to establish a long-term plan to stimulate autophagy. If you're not working to stimulate autophagy, your cells will continue to accumulate toxins. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.